Hey everyone, it's Shayna. Um, I'm finally back um, and I am here with a January setup in a B6 Stology. I have actually already set this up in my main planner. Um, I kind of did it like mindlessly really quick um, the other day and then I remembered I wanted to film it. So I'm going to use this spare B6 Stology I have. I actually use this for other things, um, but I'm going to use a little bit out of it to do this portion. So we're just going to pretend this is a brand new Stology. Um, so the first thing that I actually do is I put my weekly trackers right here on this first page. These are just plain, plain sticky notes. Um, and I print the Peanuts Planner Co. Weekly Tracker on it, and that's what I use each week for my various tracking. I don't track a whole lot. I mostly track things that I don't have to do um, and just kind of track things I would like to spend my time on. So that's that. Um, and then this is actually going to be my cover page. I'm going to use this printable from Journaling Home. Um, I think it was the Let's Get Cozy one or something like that. So I'm going to use my double-sided tape str I don't know what this is, roll, I guess. <laughs> um, I'm going to use this. I just find this is a little more cost effective than like um, the Tombow adhesive roller that I typically use. Um, this was like, I don't know, eight dollars, six or eight dollars on Amazon. And it's this giant roll. I can link it below. Um, but yeah, so I've been using using that. I'm going to go ahead and take that strip there off and I'm just going to pop it down. Um, and then I have this um, Paper Minty Studio um, washi. I'm just going to put a little bit there, a little bit there, not think about it too hard. And then I'm going to just use a pen here and just really quick write January in down there. So there's my January cover page. Nothing too complicated. Um, that took me just a couple of minutes um, and I really, I really like doing that lately. I've been trying to do um, a lot more simple setups lately. So this is one of the more complicated uh, setups I have. I don't remember who I got this from. Um, I found it on Pinterest and tried to track back the credit and couldn't find out who it was. So I'm a little bummed about that. So if you happen to know, um, let me know. But um, I'm switching up my monthly. So instead of doing a drawn out one or two page monthly, um, like I have done in the past, recently it's been a one page monthly, I'm actually, and then I, I like write all the things that are going to be happening ahead of time. And then I have to use a ton of whiteout <laughs> because things don't happen or things change. Um, I decided to go with the writer Carol style of monthly instead. And because I reference, I've mentioned this many, many times before, I reference my Google Calendar. I don't reference my monthly. My monthly is only there for in the case that in the future I want to go back and look at what happened that month. Um, you know, just because. <laughs> um, so I'd want to put things in there that actually happened. And I, I'm kind of sick of drawing it out, to be completely honest. I can appreciate other people wanting to draw it out. I'm sick of it. I just kind of want to, wanted to go back to basics. Um, and honestly, going back to basics is where I really found my groove. And I suggest that for anybody. If you are struggling with your planner setup, if you're struggling with your planner um, system, go back to basics. Forget all the decorations. Go back to basics. 
figure out what really works for you and then you can add on from there and I am really enjoying it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. What I did was, oh, this is gonna be kind of hard with this pin here. Let's take it off. Click there. I just kind of wrote in January. I'm not gonna write this in super nicely. <laughs> I spend a little more time writing it in um, on my actual monthly, but there's January, and then I'm going to write focus here. Okay, so now what I did was I skipped a line in my grid, and I just draw a line across, and I skip a line draw a line across, and I'm just gonna keep doing that all the way down. I don't care if my lines are straight at all. I don't have time for that. <laughs> I do have time for that, actually, technically, um, but I don't have the care. I don't have the care. Um, I like the messy, imperfect planners, so why not have that in mind? I'm just going to go all the way on down there. And then what I'm going to do, actually need to, okay. So since this is more of a pink, I'm not honestly entirely sure if the colors are coming through properly. Um, they very well might not be, but I'm going to, start on this top line and I'm going to write in pink for Saturday and Sunday just to kind of let myself know that that's the weekend and then Monday Tuesday and I'm just gonna go on down and set up my monthly Nothing complicated. You can, oops, I just messed that up. You can see this really doesn't take me a whole lot of time. Oh. Saturday, Sunday. I, I'm not really worrying about how it looks. I mean, it, it looks fine to me. I know this bothers some people, but for me, I prefer it looking kind of messy. I know that it's mine. Um, I'm messy, so. <laughs> anyway. Um, 24. And this is just, I don't know, I'm just trying to write it kind of quickly because this, I just don't want to have to, um, I don't want to have to zoom, zoom. I don't want to have to speed this up. I want you to see real time how long this takes me because it really doesn't take me very long. Okay, so. Okay, that wasn't coming through this, the right color at all. <laughs> so I fixed it. Um, you can see it's a little more pink now. That is the 722 Tombow marker that I was using. But here I did PM dollar sign. Um, <laughs> I always read it as PMS. Um, but so this is for pills, mood, and spending. So I'm going to write down here at the bottom, M equals mood. And then one is low to 10 is high. I don't have to care about, you know, a lot of people when they do mood trackers, they worry about, you know, well, what if my prime emotions were opposite or, you know, trying to track multiple emotions in a day. This, I don't care what emotion it was. It's just in general, was my mood a one through a 10? And I just write that down and then I can kind of track through the month what my moods were. Um, P is pills. So a check mark is my iron pill and a check mark with a like cross. So this, it, it almost looks like, you know, I, I basically just put a line like to make it an X means my other pill. And then for the money, um, the spending, I do an X for no spend. I do a like 
small circle for a low spend. And I do an exclamation point for high spend. So if you've watched any of my videos in the past, um, I have used the Hey Planner Girl freebie um, for no or low spend. And that's kind of where I got this idea from, um, but I don't really need that the whole calendar and everything that is in her freebie. So I kind of pared it down so that I'm really just tracking what my actual spending or my, what type of spending. So no spend is obviously zero dollars. Low spend is or is under $26 and high spend is over $26, 26 and above. So then I kind of, I'm, I'm using that same system I used before. And then I'm also using half of the Hey Planner Girl freebie. Um, and this is just the breakdown of the days. And I write in exactly what I spent my money on. Typically, I don't write like the actual items. I write like the store. So if I did like an Etsy purchase or if I did like a Kohl's purchase or something, I will write that in here. I don't know. Um, I'll write that in here and then I'll write the amount. And I will do every single purchase for each day because I am... I have found that, you know, it's easy to ignore your spending when you're not actually tracking what you're spending your money on in an, in a, in an intentional way. And when you write down exactly what your non-essential spending is and the exact amount, tie it to the exact amount, it's harder to ignore that dollar amount. So that's what I've been doing here and I actually paste that in later on. So now, What I do here, I take out my Tombow again, I'm gonna count over three. How many do I go? Five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. And then I'll do it again on line 16. I just know that because I've now set it up twice. So, and then just to kind of make it look nice, I'm gonna put these lines in and I do the three grid, five grid, three grid, and then I have a space in between, five, three grid, five grid, and another three grid so that it meets the edges. And this is the part that I got, I mean, I got this whole thing from somebody, but I don't, this is the part that I don't remember who it was I got it from, which is a bummer. So I have tasks, or I couldn't find, I should say, not that I don't remember, goals, notes, and wish for wish list. I do actually technically have a wish list, um, in the beginning of my actual astrology and I have one on my notion page but I still kind of like to put it here because this is kind of where I put it I, I if I don't put it on my daily I'll put it here um, and then I just kind of have some random notes for things obviously goals is self-explanatory and so is tasks so there's my monthly and my monthly focus so now I'm alternating my colors. I'm using 772, N60, and 977 Tombow markers, and those are the colors I've chosen mostly based on the colors in here. So the next color I'm going to use is the N60, and this is going to be my gratitude page. So I'm just going to write in and you can even like, you know, obviously you can just write in, you don't have to do fancy lettering or anything. I was actually considering not doing that, but then I did it by default. So not that that's fancy necessarily, but. And then I'm, I'm actually just going to do the exact same thing I did on the previous page with the monthly, and I'm just going to put lines across. And this is going to be, um, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's just a single, it's almost like the one line a day, but like I found with one line a day, I could put anything like negative and stuff. And I wanted, not that I wanted to keep it positive, but I'm really trying to work on being grateful for what I have. 
Um, I did pick the word enough for my word, not necessarily of the year, just my word. Um, I'm actually going to use, I'm going to use a dark blue on this one this time instead of the pink, just to kind of match it with this, uh, just to match it with this color scheme instead. Oops. <laughs> oh, I can change that into an eight. There we go. I still made it work. Um, I'm getting kind of off here. There we go. It's hard to see where I'm writing on the lines from where I'm sitting. Um, but yeah, I found I was just writing whatever. And I, I really, with my word, really, with my word of the uh, right now, I guess, because um, I actually started implementing my word of the year um, in November, I think, or maybe it was December, but um, is enough. And I, I want to remember that I have enough. I don't need more. Um, and I want to be happy with what I have. So that kind of goes with that. I want to, I want to be grateful for what I, what I have and what I have access to and things like that. So that, oh gosh, I did it again. 28, 29. Did I do this wrong? I missed a number, didn't I? 8, 9, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. <sighs> okay, okay. How am I going to fix that? <laughs> so we'll just do this. I don't know. The tomball re won't really work over this, but we'll make it work. It's fine. Okay, so let's try doing this the correct way this time. Is it 21, 22, right? No, did I do it again? Oh, I didn't go back far enough, that's why. You were probably watching this and like, no. <laughs> that's fine. It's just because I'm going, I don't know. Fast, I guess. <laughs> Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. There we go. We have all the days now of that week. <laughs> I'm telling you, every single time I do a setup, it's like a game to see where I will mess up. And I think it's hilarious every time. I don't really get bent out of shape about it because I just think it's hilarious <laughs> at this point. Um, 29, 30. There we go. Now we're getting... We're getting somewhere. Okay, so there's my gratitude page. Nothing fancy. That took longer than it needed to because I messed up. Not because, not because it was a complicated spread. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is my low spend. And this is where I'm going to put the half of the... Hey Planner Girl Tracker. I'm just going to use my double-sided tape again. It's adhesive or tape, I guess it is technically. Oops. Bunched up a little bit there. I actually didn't even know this really existed until Vixie Plans. I saw her using it and I was like, wait a second, that's genius. So yeah, credit to Vixie Plans on that one. Uh, all right. I'm just gonna plop this in here like that. And then I don't know, just add a little, little line there just to add some color, I guess. So there we go. There's the lowest bend. So next, 
I'm going to do my tracking page. This is not, again, I'm, I'm going simple. This is not a giant tracking of 50 million different things. It is very broken down, very simple. So, got months, week. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So I have dishwasher, cleaner, I have email maintenance because I want, I, I ended up deleting 4,194 emails dating back to like 2012 um, from my personal email and I want to keep, um, I want to keep from having to do that again. <laughs> so basically every month I'm going to go through and clean out old emails that I no longer need. Just like a quick one hour thing. It's not going to be like an all day thing. Um, Notion update. I have a pantry organized because I like to keep our pantry clean and organized, um, vacuum, right. these are just tasks I want to do at some point in the month, I don't really have like a specific time, although I do try to do it on the first of the month, filter, Wheatley is our robot vacuum, so I want to clean his filter, um, and I want to run the washer cleaner, there we go. That's my monthly tasks where I don't really care when it happens. I just need it to happen at some point in the month. And then weekly. I'm going to go across five. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine things. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Again, nothing complicated, it's just lines. I've been watching a whole lot of um, planner videos, specifically bullet journal videos, and while I greatly, greatly appreciate the like minimal aesthetic planners and the doodles and stuff, when I'm looking for a minimal planner, I'm actually looking for a minimal planner, not a minimal aesthetic planner. I want messy, I want super simple, easy to set up. That's what I've been looking for lately. So um, if you have any favorites, let me know. Um, I've been watching a lot of videos lately um, because I'm just not really finding what I'm looking for necessarily. I mean, I have found a, quite a few, um, but it's mostly like, it's mostly people who don't have planner YouTube accounts. They just kind of set up their planner once a year and, and film it, which is awesome. And I love that. But I'm looking for like an actual planner account that posts regular videos. Um, yeah. And I'm not finding a ton of those that are in the style I'm looking for. Cue hard. Four up. There we go. There's my tracking. Again, nothing super, super complicated. And then um, what I'm actually going to do is get right on into Saturday. Saturday the 1st. I'm going to get right on into planning. Saturday the first. And this is the same style, if you've looked at my Instagram at all, same style I basically went with for December. 
And then what I do is I write in, you know, my tasks and my things here. If we do any homeschool that day, I put it here. Um, and then I do journaling for the rest of this. If I have a huge task list, I'll fill in whatever space I have left with journaling. But that's it. That's my daily. I don't set up anything really past the, the day, the one day. Um, that way I can fit stuff in like I just inked up some pens today. So, I don't know why I'm doing this. Let's just <sighs> ink. Let's just do it like that. That's fine. Um, so, I just inked up my pens today. So, I'm just going to do a quick little spread on the colors I'm using this month and the fountain pens and the fountain pen inks I'm using this month. So this is 772. This is N60 977. And then I have my fountain pens. So, oh gosh, I just spilled ink everywhere. <laughs> I have Sailor Shikiori, Yozakura, in my Twisby Eco Cement Gray Extra Fine. I can't believe I just did that. I just spilled that ink everywhere. I don't even know if it's on the camera or not, but that kind of sucks. It's fine. In my mint, I have Sailor, Shikiori, Chushu, Ink, in my Twisby Eco Tea, Mint Blue EF. And finally, I have Diamine Saddle Brown. I'm not even writing this nicely. <laughs> Twisby Eco Black EF. There we go. There's my currently inked. And then it, it matches because I do match my colors that I journal in with the color that I use for that day. So like since this day is the N60 color, I'll use the Sailor Shikiori Chushu ink. And then since I used pink and then the N60, I'm calling this blue, but it's more of a gray. And then the brown, I'm going to go ahead and say for Sunday, the second, I'm going to use the pink. And I just alternate these three colors in the same in the same order. So I'll do the pink, the blue, and the brown. And then I will have the fountain pens to match the journaling for that day. So there we go. That's it. That's my setup for January. Um, nothing complicated. Just trackers, cover page, monthly with some trackers, focus stuff, gratitude, low spend, tracking, and then my dailies. That's it. So hopefully that was, I don't know, kind of helpful in a really simple and quick way to set up a bullet journal. Um, it doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be pretty or aesthetic. It can just be some markers and some printables and some pen. That's, that's all you need. You don't even need the markers. You don't even need color. You can just write track up here in black pen or whatever pen you use, like the same pen. Um, it doesn't have to be pretty at all. It can, for the, when you're first starting, I definitely recommend just pen to figure out what you like. But anyway, that's a video for another day. Um, hopefully that was kind of enjoyable. Um, obviously I haven't been here for a little bit. I took a bit of a hiatus, um, debating on if I was going to quit YouTube entirely and I kind of missed it. So um, I'm here. I don't know if I'm going to do a schedule anymore. I think I'm just going to kind of go back to what I used to do and do this for fun.
and upload videos as I want to. So, um, take a little bit of the pressure off while still enjoying it. So that's it. That's all I have. Um, thank you so much for watching. I always greatly, greatly appreciate it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.